just uh, on my way up to my second location of the weekend on the Great Ocean Road, um, a little place called Magic Rock. Um, sorry, bird chirping at me. Um, yeah, so it's about a 30 minute walk from here. Parked up the car, hopefully somewhere safe. Um, and yeah, it's a very steep walk at the moment. So gonna catch my breath and keep going. Um, the sun is out finally and the wind has dropped. So should be hopefully a nice sunset. So away we go. As you can see, it is pretty nice here. There's a uh, some cows. Well, there were some cows in the background. Um, that's not where I'm going. Obviously, that's the farmer's field. Um, being careful to keep out of the farmer's field here. It's actually very well um, marked and there's a boundary, so no danger of that really. It's just stupid. Um, so yeah, just over halfway, I think. Based on my last visit here, I think I'm over halfway. And uh, yeah, back on the right track now. Hello, just jumping in here to save you from the wind noise. So I had arrived on location at the sea stack and at this point the wind had got up massively which meant that the audio in this particular clip was pretty much unusable. So what I'll do instead is just talk through really quickly about what's happening at this point. So like I said, I'd arrived on location and I was just hunting around for a decent composition. I have been here before to the sea stack so I knew roughly where I wanted to be. And I think last time I took what is a fairly decent landscape orientation shot, which I've just put on screen now. So this time I really had my mind set on a, a 4x5 composition. And uh, we'll get back into the, the video now and you can decide for yourselves by the end, hopefully, whether I, I got a decent shot out of this evening. I'm all set up now for sunset. Um, I've gone with the portrait composition in the end. Um, that's what this uh, sea stack lends itself to. Um, I did take a few landscape shots, but definitely prefer the portrait. Um, probably going to be a 4x5. So I just need to sort my tripod out because uh, at the moment I've got the center column, which isn't ideal. But just whilst I was uh, working out where I was going to compose from. Um, so yeah, I'll finish off setting up the tripod and then we've got. 10 minutes to sunset now, so nearly there. I'm crouching down because it's still windy. Nowhere near as windy as it has been the last couple of days. My wife and I spent all day looking for koala bears and kangaroos. Um, I'll post a little clip of us doing that um, near Timboon. Um, and when I'm not looking for them, they appear out of nowhere. Um, so let me just try and get that as they bounce away from me. Kangaroos well and truly got away. Um, yeah, they bounced off before I even turned around to take a video, I think. Um, maybe by the time you see this, that'll be proven true or false. Um, but yeah, I don't think I got a video. I don't think I got a photo of them. Oh well, always tomorrow. And that hyperlapse was me heading back to the car to go home for the evening. But before I sign off, I just wanted to say a few things. Firstly, thank you for watching. This is the first video I've uploaded to YouTube. So if you have been watching now for five or six minutes, that's really appreciated. Please carry on watching and hit that subscribe button. That'd be great, thank you. Secondly, quick note on audio quality. I've gone out and bought a Rode 
lav plus external mic, which should mean that the audio on the next video and beyond will be much improved, which is fantastic news. Finally, if you have enjoyed this video or found it useful, please feel free to leave a comment underneath. Any feedback will be gratefully received and taken on board, if it's constructive, of course. I should be releasing a new video, let's say every two to three weeks to begin with, and then more frequently as I get more content to release. So until the next time you see me, goodbye.